Hello, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to use Sketchpad 5.1. It's the newest um, program by Sketch.io. So you can go to the website https colon slash slash sketch sketch dot io slash Sketchpad S K E T C H P A D. So here it is. So let's start a new new document. So today I'm going to teach you how to use the different shapes. So Sketchpad is web-based it's a free online drawing program it works on chromebooks so awesome for teachers and students you can download it for 495 to use on your mac and pc and then you could also work offline it's not that great on cell phones because it's just too too they're too small you can't see everything um let's see so this is kind of like the free version of adobe illustrator okay so right over here is where the different shapes are and these are predominantly geometric shapes so let's start out with square so look you can click and drag it and you can also rotate it You go back in it will get smaller so you can use different colors over here for outline right now I have a black outline you could choose a different color for the outline and then the fill the fill is the inside of it so for the fill also has different options so let's just do a color how about I'm just gonna do blue so it's the same I know, maybe I'll do purple. Okay, and then another thing you can do is to adjust what it looks like by clicking over here where it says roundness. It's showing you. If you move it to the right, it's becoming more round. Hey, now it's a circle. Go back. So if you need rounded edges for whatever reason, maybe you're working on a graphic design project. And then over here on this option is called cutout. So again, just click and drag this to the right and you can see that it's creating another box inside the box. So it looks more like an outline. So this would also be great for graphic design projects. Maybe you're going to put text or words inside of the box or maybe you want to put a picture in the box okay so let's see that's um, squares then we have regular polygon how about stars okay let's pick a different color let's do a different fill And then here, check out the sides. You can add more spikes or sides to your star. Slope changes. You want it fat and thick or skinny with long sides, like a starfish. You can rotate it so it looks like a windmill. Oh. That's funky. It looks like it's dancing. Woo, woo, woo. And cut out. So you can put the space in the middle, just like we did with the square. So here you go. Again, click and rotate it, and then you can move the cursor out to make it big, or go back in to make it small. Okay, let's try another geometric shape. Circle. Let's choose another color yellow Oop. and then you can also put a cutout if you want maybe for if you're working on something you could put a picture in there ok 
Okay, let's see. Pi. Oh, tomorrow's Pi Day. And Radiant Burst. This is really neat too. So, outline is one color, or you could do them the same. How about we'll do dark green for both? Okay, and then you can see the different options for the sides. You can add more sides and the spread closer together or further apart. And you can just go around and around to rotate it. Okay, here's Spiral. Ooh, this reminds me of Gustav Klimt. Maybe we should make it gold in honor of Gustav Klimt. And again, you can check out the sides, add more or less, coils, see how it's changing, spread, oh, maybe it's harder to see on that one, or I think you can see it on this one, there you go, that looks neat, okay, that was spiral, here we have another geometric shape rectangle, so look, I'm dragging it, to the right and it's making it long and skinny. How about triangle? Let's pick another color. Blue. There you go. And how about burst? Oh, it's like a flower. So maybe you're doing a project like a still life. You could put lots of flowers. You can layer them. But if you go from small in the back, bigger in the front. Sound familiar? Okay, let's try another geometric shape ellipse. So this you can also click and drag it to change the shape. Another one, ring. And gear, this one's really cool too. So let's change the color again. Let's just do black. And then here you can see the sides. You can add more sides. Maybe you're going to make something looks like an award. Let's see the slope. Like a sun or a gear, and they can put a cutout if you want to cut out. Okay, and here's another geometric shape. So, this is the last shape I'm going to show you in the shapes area, and then there is another way to make shapes. So, I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Let's make our heart red for Valentine's Day, for love. Boop. Boop. We can rotate it. Beautiful, lots of shapes. Okay, so now I'm going to show you another way you can make geometric shapes. Go click on the tools, and then you're going to pick line. So now... You can draw with this and make geometric shapes. So click and then click again. Let's make a square. You go up, you go across. So I'm just going to move this down here and then I'm going to close the path. Do you see that where it says close the path? going to click it there and now you have your square so you can do that and make different shapes so click it just move the cursor and click wherever you want so now I'll make how about a triangle like this 
So now I can do that, or I can go over here and I can click close path, and it does it automatically, so it's done perfectly. Okay, so you can make all different kinds of geometric shapes with that. Another way to do it is, again, back in the tools, click down on path. So you can click and drag it and then drag that. So this is a little harder to make it geometric. Mm, it's not really geometric, but if you practice a lot, it can get good at it. It's a little tricky. If we go here, you can bend the curve like that. So I'm, I just clicked it and I dragged it over. So I'm closing the path. And that's it. It won't let me change it again. So this is definitely trickier. These are more like organic shapes finish editing. I'm going to click that. Oops, <laughs> put a long line on there. Okay, so I showed you how to use the shapes. Um, there's all different shapes you can choose from, different colors. There's different, some shapes don't have modifications and some do. Or some have fewer weight. Where? Oh yeah, because you can pick the roundness and the cutout. So lots of options here. So now you know how to make geometric shapes in Sketchpad Point IO. Sorry, Sketch Point IO or Sketchpad 5.1. So have fun and let's see how many shapes can you make. I want you to make at least five different shapes, but I want to see if you can make all the shapes. That's your challenge. All right. Take care.